All right, let's um is this the time of the show that we do uh we talk about the mummy 40x or do we want to save that for later because we're up to watch this bitches what do you say ship that that's part of watch this bitches i would say i think that's a big part of watch this okay bitches. Well, well first i'll say that i finished the first season of american gods and that is a very violent uh television show with a fair amount of sex uh and penises in it i might I that's might that's like pretty much describes all the shows that you watch <laughs> I told I had to get my dad's uh, cable login. You know, I had to ask him if he had stars so I could watch the show. I was like, "Oh yeah, I heard good things about this show called American Gods, and I want to check it out." He's like, "Oh okay, sure." He's like, uh, "Thanks for letting me know." I got a text back from him like about a week later, saying, "David, I had to. We turned off American Gods after five minutes <laughs> because." It gets gross. It gets super gross in the first five minutes of the show. Uh, but I, I like these types of shows where it's sort of unclear exactly what is going on. You don't really have a full view of, of what's happening. Um, and Ian is that Ian McShane is the guy's name, the uh, guy from Deadwood. Is that his name? Yes, that's the that's the guy from Deadwood. Yeah, so. he's in this. He's like the main one of the main characters in it. Also in John Wick. Uh, oh, yeah, I watched John Wick two on the plane ride to E three. How was that? Uh, it's it's like John Wick one, but not quite as good. But right. the sequel, <laughs> like yeah, if you were to like think about a sequel, this would be it. It's the RoboCop two, basically, of John Wick movies. But you know, it's not horrible, but it's not. No, it's not horrible by any means. It just doesn't add. Right. Hardly anything to the <laughs> the John Wick franchise, and maybe makes less sense if that's possible. It's it's a little bit cheekier than the first one, I think. Um, they 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 definitely it's not as real. Like if you think the first one was realistic, that is <laughs> right. like this this one is far more unrealistic. Right, they're just like fuck it. Right, nobody thinks we, this is real. You guys want to see some stuff happen, right? We're going to show you some stuff after. All right. You want to see a guy get run over by a car a few times and be totally Oh, fine. my gosh. He gets hit by a car like 16 <laughs> times in this movie. <laughs> and he just walks away. It's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it just gets back up. It's fine. Well, it's not about getting hit. It's about knowing how to get hit. <laughs> he right. Knows. You know, if anybody knows how to get hit by a car, it's John Wick. It's John Wick. That's what I mean. Like, he just knows how to get hit. Right. He's basically like the Uber of getting hit by a car. He's exactly. Like, they all, all the cars come to him. Uh, all right, let's talk about the mummy, <laughs> which uh, we saw in 4DX uh, on the at, f- at five f- fifteen p.m. on the last day of the show. Now, this is supposed to be one of the worst movies ever made. I laughed mm. my ass off for two hours. Now, and, does that that doesn't necessarily mean it was good? No, this isn't a good movie. I don't think it's in the worst movie ever made category. It's it's pretty bad. It's it doesn't really have many redeeming qualities. I would say not a ton, <laughs> but when you add the whole seats moving in time with the movie, it becomes a two hour amusement park ride. And, you know, you got people getting stabbed and then you're getting stabbed. So uh, much stabbing. So much. stab. I mean, shipwreck. It wasn't just me. Shipwreck was laughing. It's, it's pretty loud. So you couldn't I couldn't really tell how the rest of the theater was enjoying the show. Was it crowded? Meh, barely. Okay. <laughs> half, or a few people. Half there. full, probably. Eh, maybe. But Ship was definitely laughing pretty much every time that I was laughing. And I was, I mean, I was pretty tired by the end of the movie from laughing and just, you know, being stabbed and Thor- Thorbon did not enjoy it. Thorbon hated it. Thorbon didn't get it. Thorbon. The, the movie or the 40X? Any Both. of it. <laughs> Any of it. He was basically. It was like, not f- his his thing. No, he was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Why do you, how could you possibly like this?" Um, he turned the water off. He wasn't even getting shot with water. Right. He didn't. Yeah. He was. He was. He was not in his element. He sure. he was out about halfway through the movie. He he like stuck with it, but right. He, he probably I, wanted I could to tell leave. he was he was not enjoy. It was like me when we watched that Superman movie. One bet. Gotcha. Oh, and three. me and me. Right. <laughs> I was crying basically by the end. I wanted to. Leave well, that, you, you still say it like like Superman, like Man of Steel being bad is my fault. 
no, it's it. You, it was the you like looking I had over something. at me and going, that was pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, huh? I was in denial. <laughs> I fully admit that. <laughs> Well, yeah, I would definitely say that if you're not going to see the mummy in 4DX, you should fucking stay far away from it because it, it's such a ridiculous movie to be bad. Like, how do how do you make that such a bad movie? It it the plot just jumps all over the place. It makes no which, sense, really. There's no need for it to do that. Like, you could this could be like the most straightforward plot ever, and you have enough like acting presence on screen. And you have enough budget for special effects that you you should come out with a serviceable movie. Yeah, this ain't it. No. Unless you see it in 4DX, and then it's you know basically four stars. It really establishes the dark universe, though. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the Red Letter Media on it today. I I need to do that. So. It's it's they bring. It I up. like it. I feel like that'd be very amusing. <laughs> they did not like it, <laughs> but they did enjoy uh, making fun of it, and I enjoyed watching that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, remember that remember that part where we got sprayed in the face by someone uh, coughing up drowning water. Yeah, that was good. Like somebody was getting CPR and they they coughed out the water that they had choked on and it just splashed all over our faces. <laughs> oh, it was so fun. I just laughed. That was so pretty hard. pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's just fucking hilarious. Like you know, the guy they're riding horses and the chairs are going. There was up smell of vision this time. Yep, we got flower smells. We got so flowers. I, I don't know. I, I think it's 40X is amazing. I would love to be the spokesperson for 40X. They just, they just have a camera on me for the whole movie and watch me just laugh hysterically. But it's not distracting. I guess you want to see a movie that you don't have to pay yeah, attention to. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, that you want to be shaken because yeah. you don't want to be thinking about the plot. Right. They were showing the Wonder Woman in 40X too at that theater. And I don't think yeah, that would I be good. I don't want to see that in that. I still haven't seen Wonder Woman and I want to see that. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it yet either. We, this, uh, maybe you and I should go. It works for movies that don't have that you, you're not going to have any emotional connection with. So, this movie and the Jurassic World, I think, were really good. <laughs> we're prime 4DX movies. Anyway, what else we got here? Have you watched Oh Hello yet on Netflix? I don't know what that is. So no. Oh, it's the uh, they. Re- they taped a um, John Mulaney and Nick Kroll, two comedians, had a Broadway show where they play these two characters that they've been doing on various things for a long time. They made it into a Broadway show. They recorded the Broadway show and they stuck it on Netflix as a Netflix original. And it's called Oh, Hello. It's very funny. Um, I'm curious. I think you would like it, Cheapy. Actually, I don't know if you'll love it. I don't. It's hard with comedy to to make that kind of a bold statement. Mm-hmm. But because uh, I because you'll get the references. There's a lot of very New York specific references. So I don't know how well it would play to someone who's not not a New Yorker. Got it. And that was work calling me. What the fuck? Uh <laughs> God damn! Don't you know you're a fucking internet superstar? You can't be uh, answering phone calls. I know. During the I know. Show. So, can you believe it at nine forty five? Um. So that's that. That's uh, oh hello. It's oh hello. It's very funny. If you have Netflix, I don't know. Watch it. You All right. may make it five minutes. You may make it through the whole thing. All right. But uh, I do recommend recommend making it at least until Steve Martin. Ooh, that's a, that's a good uh, teaser right there. Isn't that a good teaser? Mm-hmm. Should make it to at least Steve Martin. 